bus demo day six or seven, it was a hot and humid day. Now that we got all the insulation out of the ceiling, that thing just heats up like a tin can. This is Mella. This is Don. And we're sharing our experience as we reinvent our habitat. It's really humid here, which doesn't help. And then there's no insulation and there's no airflow. So yeah, we were just dripping, sweat running in our eyes and down our faces. And the day was mostly about tearing the remaining fiberglass onto the side panels of the bus so we could find out what was underneath them. Mella got a chance to use the chisel to get some of these rivets out. The entire bus has been riveted together after we got all the screws out. And then it has this glue, this black glue that's holding the side panels in, in the wall. And it, it was just like so sticky. Wow, it's still there, it's not pretty. Yeah, and it just ended up on everything because you got it on your hands and then you touched yourself and then you had to pick it up and throw it away and it ended up on your t-shirt on your arms super thick like tar Still it was like i haven't got rid of it all it was like tape with tar on it it was a total mess my dad helped us again today and he got a big bunch of the tar on his arm so much so that he had to just shave his arm when he took a shower this evening <laughs> Yeah, you can't believe how dirty it gets, like behind the wall of the bus, right? Like, I thought there would be nothing there, but boy, was I wrong. Yeah, and under the vents, we pulled up uh, the last cover for the vent, and it was just a, a mound of nastiness. <laughs> so gross. Uh, the more we do on the demo of the bus, the more I want to remove everything yeah. except for the frame just so that we can clean and start over. Yeah. Um, I, I'm so glad we've already torn out as much as we have. There's been times when I thought maybe we shouldn't go to this extreme. Maybe we should just utilize the ceiling that we have and paint it or... But you it's just so dirty and, you know dusty and yeah it's it's time for it to go and we need a fresh clean yes home you know it's time we're both particular about having non filth in our living <laughs> environment <laughs> it's preferable <laughs> yeah Today we figured out how to get the bathroom, you know, the toilet was all just one piece of stainless steel from the floor going up to the seat and into the wall. So we pulled it out a couple days ago um, and then it's just been sitting in the bus and today we managed to prop up a window so that we could pass it through the window. So we finally got that out of the bus, out, out. And no windows were broken in the process of getting yeah. that out, which I was a little nervous. I've been very nervous every time we open up those windows and pass things through them. And that's not a cheap mistake either. We also got all the other uh, big pieces of sheet metal out that were in the ceiling. Um, I think there's probably six or seven hundred pounds of sheet metal in yeah, the ceiling. Yeah, took a lot of weight out of the bus. Like, we could just, I, 
I can't believe we just keep pulling more stuff out of the bus. Like, when's it gonna stop? I'm like, oh, we're probably halfway. And then the next day I'm like, oh, okay, no, now we're halfway. And then I'm like, oh, there's still more stuff. Oh, now we're halfway. <laughs> um, now I'm going, I don't think we're even halfway yet. <laughs> now we are. We just got the floors to pull out now. Just the floor, we just have to pull the floors out. That's it. <laughs> uh, the other thing we revealed today, which I'm not absolutely certain what we're going to do, is the side uh, panels are already filled with insulation. There's places where you can't access them or see them at all. It's just a giant piece of metal. So that's been something that really made me stop and think because my original plan was to take all insulation out of the bus completely and then do new spray foam insulation throughout, but... That insulation looks good. Like, it's not dirty. It's not dirty, and we could do a little spray foam over it yeah. so to seal everything. Double insulation and, yeah, have it sealed off well. And Yeah. My vote is to leave it in and not have to try and take the outside panels off. That seems like... A lot of work. Yeah. We have been realizing that this is gonna go quick. Really soon, we're gonna start building in the bus. So we needed to start making decisions. And we got some exciting news. We made our first purchase for the bus. <laughs> we bought a dishwasher. We haven't had a dishwasher since we've been here. So. <laughs> We just realized how much we hate washing dishes by hand and it just seems like a waste of time. So we found a little one drawer dishwasher that doesn't use a lot of water and we got it. That's what we're basing our whole kitchen around. <laughs> Not quite, but we that was our important appliance. Yeah, we started thinking uh, what is the most important things for us to to start with. What are we gonna spend money on first that we're committed to? What are the important things? And I think in some ways driving and, and doing our glamping trip across the country for our move, um, we were doing our dishes with no sink, no running water, and it was a huge pain. Um, Mella did most of it, but it was still a huge pain. Yeah, yeah, it was a pain when we were glamping because we just didn't even have a sink. And now we have a sink, but it's still, I just spend so much time doing dishes because we cook all of our food, you know, all three meals we are cooking ourselves. We don't eat out very much. So it just seems like a waste of time to be washing dishes. Yeah, so we found uh, a dishwasher that got great reviews. It's a small dishwasher. It only uses three gallons of water, which was extremely important for us, uh, for our plans to be um, be able to be off-grid for extended amounts of time, yeah. living in the bus without having to go anywhere to hook up for water or... Yeah, we want to be boondocking as much as possible. So, yeah, we want modern conveniences, but we also realize we have to be able to conserve water, conserve energy, wherever possible. So this seemed like a really good uh, option for us. We started looking at uh, design and committing to, or thought, committing to a design look for the interior that would help us guide us with flooring, uh, paint colors, um, what kind of finishes on our appliances. Uh, we spent two hours at a flooring store the other day and were able to narrow it down to, to one kind of floor covering that we really liked. It's very expensive. Now we're looking for other options that have the same spirit. Yeah, we like to dream big. So we always start with like the ideal, like perfect. If money was and time were, you know, no obstacles, what would we do? And we write it all down and then you look at the budget and you go, okay, well, that's a little bit too much money. And then we go, okay, which ones are like, can we not live with that? Where do we want to spend the money because that's going to be worth it? And then where can we save and look for alternatives that are a little more budget friendly, but 
is still gonna help fit our overall look and theme and desires. Yeah. So we started a new list in our shared folder of finalizing some of our thoughts for design, for flooring, for some of the appliances and some of the things we know we need to get. And it's also good because it starts to make us think about the order we need to do things in too. And what do we need to buy now? Because we don't want to be like, reach a point in the build where um, you can't go on because you've ordered something and it's going to take, you know, two weeks to arrive or something. One thing that we've come across is even though we're not very far from a major metropolitan city, there's still several items we know that we probably would want to get and doing searches online, they don't have them at some of the stores. So yeah. looking and seeing that the closest store that might have this paint that we know we want to put on the uh, roof, we got to go to another state to get it or have, uh, have the hardware store ship it to another store. So planning ahead is going to be very important over the next couple weeks. That's it for now. See you next time. Walk the cats, they're doing some leash training right now. They've been, you know, indoor city cats their whole lives. They are enjoying this beautiful area and trees and smells.